Hi, I'm Hector Garcia. I'm a CPA and I'm an advanced QuickBooks Pro advisor. And I'm well known in my community for the amount of videos that I create around QuickBooks and Excel. I have prepared what I call an epic webinar where I take four to six years of my experience learning specifically how to import data into QuickBooks, both QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. I'm calling it the importing data from banks, PDF, and Excel into QuickBooks Masterclass. It's going to be a three-hour webinar on February 7th at 2 p.m. Eastern. If you register for the webinar, you'll be able to watch it live for three hours and ask questions. If you can't attend it live, you can still register for the webinar and watch the recording afterwards. Whether you watch it live or purchase it to attend it later, both will have access to the recording afterwards. The amount of information I will be sharing in that webinar will require you to watch it two, three, four, five times and use it as a reference for your data entry importing jobs. Now, the target audience for this webinar is if you're an accounting professional, tax preparer, QuickBooks consultant, and you foresee doing a lot of data entry this year during tax season, this webinar is perfect for you. The reason I'm doing it in February is because I'm making the assumption that between February and April, you'll be really, really busy preparing a lot of financial statements. Whether you're a tax preparer or someone just working with QuickBooks, I think you will get a lot out of this. Now, if you're a non-accountant, if you're not an accounting professional, then the only thing you'll get your money's worth if you are about to embark in sort of like a year long worth of data entry project where you're entering maybe 500 transactions or more. You know, the idea is that I can shave you two to six hours of your work. So you have to figure out whether the cost of the webinar is going to be worth your while. But if you're an accounting professional dealing with two, three, four clients and you do a lot of data entry and you feel that you waste a lot of time doing the entry itself into QuickBooks, this webinar will be perfect for you. Now, this three part webinar, which will last three hours, will consist into three pieces. Part one will do data conversion data preparation and cleanup. Part two, we'll get into importing into QuickBooks Desktop. And part three, we'll talk about importing into QuickBooks Online. It's important to take note that the only information that we're gonna be focused on importing is bank and credit card information. We're not gonna be importing invoices or bills or information from your shopping cart. We're only focused on bank and credit card information, which is 90% of the work, the work that most accounting professionals do. Now, let's, let me give you a quick preview of what, all, what are all the topics that we're gonna cover. So part one, we'll talk about what type of data can QuickBooks Online accept. Make sure that you know you're looking at the data and say, yep, QuickBooks Online can accept this. What type of data can QuickBooks Desktop accept? You look at it and say, okay, this is ready, this is not ready. Now, which tools I use, my, my go-to tools, to go from a PDF bank statement, sometimes they're actually scanned, sometimes they're the digital PDFs from the bank. They're better, by the way, but some, you, you have both. I'll, I'll discuss what tools I use to convert that into Excel. And that, I, I go into Excel first for, for a very specific set of reasons, it has to do with cleaning up the data and stuff. I'll discuss it in, in a little bit. And then I'll talk about which tools allow me to take the data from Excel, assuming that I convert it from PDF to Excel, or maybe the bank gave it to me in Excel, or maybe my client gave it to me in Excel. That's another use case, how to take that Excel data and put it into a QuickBooks importable format, specifically a .QBO format that allows you to use something called bank feeds. Now, I'm gonna to explain to you the, the difference between bringing a CSV file versus a QBO file into QuickBooks Online. Basically, the CSV file is a little bit limited, and I'll explain the pros and cons on, on using uh, each one and, and also make you think on what software you would need to invest or no software at all if you're going to go with CSV. Then I'll tell you how to import uh, vendors because that's actually, we spend a lot of time typing vendors into QuickBooks, how to import vendors before we do the bank feeds and how to make that whole process marry each other. Then we'll talk about QuickBooks desktop and I'll discuss the same QBO file, which is the web connect file that goes into QuickBooks desktop using bank feeds. I'll discuss an IAF file. There's some weird banks that give you IAF files. So I'll explain to you how to look at it and decide whether or not you want to use an IAF file or how to 
break it down and convert it into something else. Then I'll go in deep detail on Batch Enter. Batch Enter is one of my favorite tools available in the Accountant and Enterprise Edition. So we'll discuss uh, that. And then we'll talk about importing customers and vendors into uh, QuickBooks as well. Then we'll get into uh, the tools that I use to go from PDF to uh, Excel, which is ScanWriter Excel Edition to QBO Convert Pro, PDF to CSV, and PDF to Excel. The last three are the ones that I'm going to demo. ScanWriter is a hugely popular software, but it's a $1,500 to $2,000 investment. So I really, yeah, I really, I want the webinar to give you your money's worth. I'm going to show you some of the less expensive tools that are only between 100 bucks to 300 bucks, and I'll show you how to use those because those actually can be as powerful as ScanWriter. But I will compare them to give you an idea because I actually have ScanWriter as well, but I want to explain to you under what circumstance one will be better than the other. Then I'll talk about the Excel to QBO conversion tools, both for uh, bank feeds into QuickBooks Online and Desktop. I'll talk about the two tools that I have on that and I'll discuss the prices and which one's better for what situation. And then I'll talk about going in from PDF statement into QuickBooks Straight or that QBO format that I was explaining earlier. So I'll explain the same tools and how they work with that function. Then I'll go into a deep how-to tutorials with those specific tools that you're seeing on the screen, including PDF to Excel, which is a really neat tool by a software company called CogniView. I'll explain under what circumstance I like that particular tool because you know every case is different. Every client case is different. And hopefully through this webinar, you, 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 you learn how to get that instinct where you look at the case and say, hmm, I'm going to use this tool, I'm going to use that tool. Because again, the only purpose of this webinar is to, to shave hours of your work. If, if, if you can't do that, then I'm not achieving my goal in teaching this webinar. Now I'll talk about some of the final thoughts, how to choose the right tool, when you would use more than one tool or multiple tools, so I'll explain that. And then I'm going to go into Excel. I'm going to show you some of the quick and dirty tricks that I have to clean up Excel data. I mean, thousands of transactions clean it up in 10, 15 minutes and get it so cleaned up and organized that when it comes into QuickBooks, it, it really, really flows easily. Your bank feed rules starts picking them up and, and QuickBooks starts detecting some of the vendor names, starts detecting some of the categories. So I'm going to show you how to clean it up in Excel before bringing it into QuickBooks. That would probably want to be one of the biggest learning experiences you have, especially if you're an Excel user yourself, you, you learn a lot of cool things in Excel that you can do it before bringing it. Then I'm going to go part two. We're going to talk about QuickBooks Desktop. And I'm actually going to walk through bank feeds, give you some tips on how to use bank feeds, the built-in tool. Um, if you just have a QBO file, you don't have to convert. I mean, sometimes your client gives you access to the bank and you can download a QBO file and you can skip all this conversion stuff. So I'll explain to you how to do, go straight into bank feeds without any conversion. Then I'll explain uh, Batch Enter. That's a really neat tool that it's available in account and an enterprise edition. And I'll compare the two. I'll give you sort of the you know, pros and cons of each one. Then I'll talk about importing vendors and customers, which is crucial you know, to speeding up the process. And then if you're using QuickBooks Pro or Premiere, which I suspect a lot of you could be using, I will show you how to use Transaction Importer Pro, which is a different tool altogether. It's a third party tool that can import the data. Um, and, and, and you will start noticing you know, what, what are the pros and cons of using bank feeds, conversion to QBO and transaction pro importer if the data is in Excel. Then part three, we'll talk about QuickBooks Online, sort of the same process. I'll explain the difference between CSV and QBO files. We'll use transaction pro importer and compare it with bank feeds and also import vendors and customers in batch. And if we have time at the end, the bonus will be reclassifying transactions. So we got time in the three hours. I will go deep into reclassifying, which is a crucial tool to data entry. And if we don't have time, there will be a pre-recorded video that you will have access to on the reclassified tool, which is, again, a real powerful tool as well. And that will be it. We'll spend three hours on that. We'll, we'll have open Q&A. It will go for as long as you have questions. So the webinar could go four hours long. We'll see. Uh, and then after the webinar is done, I'm going to go ahead and record it. I'm going to post it into my QuickBooks Academy website. So later on in the future, you can access it anytime. You'll have unlimited access to the webinar recording afterwards. I will not be doing this webinar again, at least in the year 2018. I will be selling the recording. Of course, you, you'll be seeing me, seeing me selling the recording, but I won't do another live webinar for it. So there'll be a one-time shot. 
and um, and the recording will only be available to the folks that pay for it. So the webinar is going to be two ninety nine. Now uh, I'm going to run a special uh, coupon that if you buy it before January thirty first, so seven days before the webinar, January thirty first, there'll be a hundred dollar discount. So use the coupon code Jan three one J A N three one. I'll put it on the description below. Use that coupon code. The webinar will go down to two hundred bucks. If on February 1st you need to register, it will be $300, no exceptions. I'm trying to, for the folks that get in earlier, try to give you guys a deal. And I'm also gonna cap the webinar at 50 people. 50 people will be the maximum I will have on this webinar because I want to be able to have a, a nice Q&A session for the folks that wanna attend it live. Again, you go to www.quickbooksacademy.com. You look for the course there, it's got that title importing data from banks, PDF, and Excel into QuickBooks. Go in there, put the coupon code, register, and I really wanna see you on February 7th. And again, I'm gonna make one last piece of statement. If you purchase the webinar, and halfway through the webinar, you didn't get double, triple the value of what you paid for, simply just log out, send me an email, and I will give you 100% of your money back. I, I, I guarantee you, this is the best webinar I have ever done for any accounting professional ever. I have given some of this knowledge for free in multiple webinars in the past, but I have never organized it into one master class for all sorts of data import and, and data conversion, which I'm calling the epic webinar of the year. So I hope to see you register by January 31st. And if you're an accounting professional, I hope that afterwards you have the most profitable and productive tax season ever. That's my commitment to you. Thank you.